are three common fears that can help you connect with an audience on a deep level? The answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. In several of my previous videos, you've heard me talk about connecting with an audience, and I'm certainly not the only coach to ever talk about this. The bottom line with this topic is this. If you're willing to talk about some of your setbacks, your struggles, and strife in your life, you can make that connection, especially in the area of fear. If you're willing to talk about your fears, people will relate to you, you will become more likable, and much more likely that people will listen to you. There are three fears in particular that you can tap into and make that connection. Change, failure, and conflict. I've discovered over the years that when I talk about any one of these three fears in my stories, people react to me and they relate. For example, when talking about change, it was an experience I had many years ago, probably around two, the year 2000, where I walked into a meeting and gave a, an impromptu speech. I didn't want to do it, but I did it as a favor to the person running the meeting. As a result of that experience, my perspective on what makes a heartfelt story changed. I went into that meeting thinking you always had to be prepared and, and rehearsed and look perfect. I came out understanding that I'd made a deep connection because I was willing to open up my chest, so to speak, and share some of my failure. Speaking of failure, that's another example I use. You've heard me on these tips talk about an experience I had in 1994 when I was a financial advisor, and I failed miserably as a presenter giving workshops. Because of that, I was motivated to make a change. I walked into my first Toastmasters meeting, which eventually led me to the National Speakers Association and meeting all these incredible mentors that I've had. Those are examples of change and failure that I discussed to make a connection with the audience. The third kind, conflict, is one that I was, for many years, very uncomfortable with. The story I just mentioned from 1994, where I was doing poorly as a presenter. My boss told me, fix this or else. That was a real conflict. I wanted to protect my job, and I also wanted to overcome this problem I was having with my boss. That type of conflict is relatable to people. We've all had situations with bosses or supervisors where we were given ultimatums. If you're willing to share these kinds of fears in your stories, whether it's change, failure, or conflict, you will make a connection with an audience, and they'll want to hear more of what you have to say. See you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.